guys and welcome back to another Draco Rex video. Back again with some build it action and this one is in dedication to a big fan of mine called Ethan. I hope you like it little guy. Alright so we are going to be building a little castle house right here next to our beautiful modern house. Uh, you can check the tutorials I have in build it. That will show you how to do that if you're interested in that one. Okay. So to start with, I've just I've completely dug down to bedrock with a um, 10 by 10 square since it's only a little castle that we're doing, and then dug out however long you would like. So I'm just going to go ahead and layer this area so it's a bit brighter in a ru ruby lamp, and eventually that will extend inside. Okay. Now, the next thing we have to do is we're going to build the walls. So this one block area is eventually going to become a moat. You don't have to have a moat, as you'll see in a demonstration that I will sh uh, a demonstration, a example that I will show you later on. But I just think that for this one, it would look really nice to have a moat. So, yes. Except we're probably going to extend it. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so the first thing we're going to do is build up the walls of our beautiful castle. Okay. Next thing we are going to do is so we're going to go across by one more because we would like a bit of headspace to be able to do everything with. Now there is another smaller version of this. You can do it just as a three high, three high, three high, which you'll see when in the decorated version that I'll show you later. Okay, so then from here we'll go... Uh, out and across, all the way to the other side, and then go three across either side as if it's a rug. But it's not, it's a lamp because it's beautiful. Alright, and then we'll go another three high. Like so. It's only too high, isn't it? Yeah, we want to go. Okay, so it's actually going to be four high from the original. All right, and then, oh, I forgot to grab our slabs. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and put the floor in, which is going to be the same level, or actually for this one, it's not going to be the same level, because it will look way cooler if it's full it. No, it is. It's going to be the same level. You're going to put it as the same level as... So you can potentially just do this with slabs, uh, with normal um, blocks, but I really like using slabs. I guess that's from all my years playing Sky Factory because you know you need to use those. All right, and we're going to go ahead and put the roof across, or I should say the next level, because this will make our third level base. Actually, need to put 
do that. All right, so then we're going to add another three high. And then we're going to go ahead and add another one. Okay, then go ahead and fill in your roof. Like so. And now we're going to go ahead and fill in what essentially becomes our kind of like a battlement structure, I guess you would call it. So you just make sure your stairs are all facing one direction, except the corners will go a bit hinky on you. Don't worry too much about that. It will still look good in the end. Yep, okay. Go ahead and break in some windows. Put mine like that, and then we're just going to put each corner upside down and then the right way up so that it creates not what I wanted. I must have done three, should create this nice little looking window. That's better. Get some more right level. So you want to make sure that your windows match up because otherwise it's going to mess with your OCD like it does with mine. Okay, so now we have that set. We're going to go ahead and build some watchtowers. So just make a little box like so, and then, uh, so I go floor high, which, which should be okay. You can extend it out onto this edge if you really want to. I don't, not for this build, but it can look a little nicer without the patchwork. So go ahead and make another three of those in each corner. Once you've got those four, you want to go ahead and put just one row of each so that it looks nice and neat onto each side. Make sure they're all going the same way. Like so. Okay. Now that you have those components in, it's time to put on your colour flag. So for little Ethan, I'm going to use red, which is just these three blocks here. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the drying rack on so that it looks like it's hanging down. Now if you're in Crundy Craft or some kind of mod, you can use what I'm about to use. If you're just in vanilla, then you will just have to make do with your wool. You can achieve the same kind of effect using, say, fences and wool or something similar. But I am, for the sake of this video, going to be using a proper banner because I think it looks really cool. So I'm just going to place the banner not there, there, and there. And I'm going to go ahead and add step either side because I would also like to add a knight statue because I think it looks really cool to have our knights standing guard.
All right. Now that you've done that, I recommend extending your moat down and out so that it goes under your bridge. And I mean, who wants a one lane moat, really? done that go ahead and add your water if you want your moat to actually run then you can do it from the top block I want my moat to just be stagnant water so I'm actually doing this from the bottom first and then I'll work my way up All right, so now that the first layer is in, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little extra something to my awesome castle, and that is this egg. Now this egg is actually a um, crocodile egg. So yeah, and I'm gonna add a few up here as well so that they will actually, you know, go into Hopefully, we'll go into without being eaten by the other dinosaurs roaming around. Okay, so hopefully, we have enough torches around them so they should now spawn. Okay, now. This one under here may not work. We'll just quickly wait for him to spawn and we'll be right back after he spawns so that we can fill in the rest of our moat. Ah. Okay, well, whatever. The one's up there will hatch. There we have it, our nice moat in our little castle. Now before we go anywhere else, I'm just going to quickly go inside here and light up the interior. It only takes two torches because it's such a small area. And there you have our little Ethan house. So as you can see, this is just a quick preview of what your potential little castle could look like. So this one I've decorated with my little buddy Ethan in mind. So of course we have our walkway as we did in the tutorial. We've added some night statues, some flags inside. If we go down to the dungeon, we've added skeletons and a fire pit and 
a black banner and some keys and things. You can find all this stuff in the deco craft bench, which is super easy to use. Okay, so we'll see we've got a cannonball and bed, some trophies on the wall, a crown, a sword. So yeah. And then there is some stuff I do want to add outside, but I think we'll leave that for another episode. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed and if you have, please hit that like button down below and if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. See you guys next time. I hope you like your build, Ethan. Bye!